Describe to me when you're on this planet as a Palladian, a 200-year-old Palladian as Zathura. I think I'm five, 500 years, actually. You're 500 years old? So. And you tell me that you live on this crystalline, on this planet with crystalline houses, with the Palladians? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, as an elder healer, describe to me, you said, when you go out, to heal. Where do you go to? You go to other planets. Other planets? Uh-huh. And why do you go to these other planets? That's what we do. Mm -hmm. We go to heal and mend. You go to heal and mend? Uh-huh. So, is there a team of you? There are. Mm -hmm. Very good. I want you to see that team around you there. This team, are they all Palladians or? Some are targeting, some are. There are others, there are Alturian, Andromedan. Arturian and Andromedan. And targeting. Andromedan and what, sorry? Alturian. This group that you're with, how many are in that group? Many. Mm -hmm. I want you to choose just a few that you're more affiliated to than the rest. So as you look around that group and you draw closer the ones that you're working with more than the rest, describe that being to me. What race is it? He is Targetan. Targetan? Targetan. Targetan. Mm -hmm. And what is he? Is he? He's my husband. He's your husband? Is he a Palladian? No, he is Targetan. Right. Mm -hmm. And as you look at your husband there, Knowing that the eyes are the windows to the soul, what I want you to do now is I want you to completely look into those eyes, spiritually connect mind to mind, soul to soul, with the soul of Target in there. And you'll know whether that soul has been in your life today. Yes. Who is it? My husband. Yeah. Very good. So tell me, why do you need to go to all these different planets then to heal? What's happening with the worlds? Well, that has been a great battle. Mm -hmm. Describe this battle to me. It has been in the um, galaxy for many years. Uh huh. We have been battling a great evil. Describe that great evil to me. We are up to him. Pardon? They are reptilian in nature. They're reptilian in nature. Mm -hmm. And why do they need to battle with us? Because they do terrible harm. Uh huh, I see. So, how would we know if we were with a reptilian? You would know it instantly. Mm -hmm. They are loathsome creatures. Loathsome creatures? Are there reptilians on Earth that are here with us now? No more. No more? Mm -hmm. When you say no more, why? What happened? We have come to fight them. And you we have fought them. You have fought them? So they're no longer on Earth? They are not. Mm -hmm. So do we have many Palladians with us working on Earth? You have many. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. So how do you communicate with each other? Telepathy. You do not need words. Telepathy? Mm -hmm. And how do you communicate with us humans then? We need speech. You need speech? The sound? Mm -hmm. Do you come in on a sound vibration? You come in on a colour vibration. A colour vibration? Is there any particular colour that you use? We use blue. Blue? What's so specific about the colour blue? 
There is a nice healing colour. Blue is a healing. This is a colour. This is tranquil colour. This is water. Very good. There is a lot of water on Palladia. There's a lot of water on Palladia. Can we see Palladia in our star system? We can, but you do not call it that. What do you call? What do we call it? I'm not sure what you call it. No, it only just begins with E. Mhm. Mm it begins with E. I'll be sure to check that out. So, on your planet, is there water on your planet? Do you yes, walk around as we do? We walk around. We swim. We float. We are quite free beings. Mhm. Mm we are twelfth dimensional. You're twelfth dimensional. So, describe to me what happens at twelfth at the twelfth dimension. By the time you have got to the twelfth dimension, you are quite wise. You are quite kind. There is no fighting. There is no jealousy. There is no warring. It is a very peaceful, loving community. There is only love here. So it's peace and love. And is that what you have come down today to work on? Peace and love? Peace and love and healing. Mm -hmm. So now I've got enough of that information, we what I want... come to bring our light. Your light? Mm -hmm. To raise your vibrations. So you work with us humanoids? We do in human form. You work in human form, so you take on a body? We do indeed, we go into stasis. And if you were on your planet, describe to me what your body would look like. It's quite shimmery. It's quite mm -hmm. etheric, really. Thank you. So now that we've... We kind of look quite solid for you. And you will describe us as tall, very tall, with blonde hair. I see. Mm -hmm. Is that the image that you want to portray to us? We are very beautiful people. We have beautiful souls. Have you chosen to come down to Earth to heal or have you been sent? No, I chose. You chose? We all chose. We are elders, we do not send others. We do what we do because we are who we are. Mm -hmm. So what I want you to do now is... Zathora, I want you to close that scene and I want you to go forward forward to a, another different time to when something significant is happening so now close that scene and just allow your mind to drift and float and wonder and I'm going to be counting down from three to one and when I get to one you're going to be at a different time where you can explain to me something significant that is happening. So when you're ready, three, go drifting, floating, drifting and floating now, two and one. Be there now and just get used to your bearings there and describe to me. Where are you now? Take a look around. I'm in Salem. You're in Salem. So what's happening in Salem? They wish our land, therefore they are going to hang us as witches. Mm -hmm. So are you a female witch there or a male witch? I am female with my sister. You're female with your sister? Mm -hmm. What's your name in that life? Anne. Anne? Mm -hmm. Anne, how old are you there? I'm going to tap you on the forehead, and when I tap you on the forehead, you're going to give me some numbers. Three, two, one. How old are you? I think I'm about 40. You're about 40. Uh -huh. And what country? America. Oh, you're in America. Mm -hmm. And are you black or white? I'm white. You're white. And your sister there, what's her name? Beth. We call her Beth. Beth. Her name is Elizabeth, but we call her Beth. And what colour hair does she have there? She has brown. She has brown hair. And her eyes? Look at her eyes. They are brown. They are brown. And as you look even deeper into those eyes, because the eyes are the windows to the soul, I want you to connect with the soul and tell me, 
It's Beth from that life in this life today. And she is. Who is she? My husband. Uh huh. So you've had several lives with him. Many, many, many. Mm -hmm. So you told me that you're in America. Mm -hmm. I want to know the year of that life in America. So I'm going to tap you on the forehead. And when I tap you on the forehead, you're going to see some numbers come to mind. Three, two, one. What year is it? Late 1700s. Uh, late 1700s. Mm -hmm. So describe the scene then of what's going on. Are you inside or outside? Uh, there's a tree. You're in a tree? There's a tree. Yeah. And as you're an observer, just looking at the scene, totally detached from any pain, fear or emotion, you'll be able to describe to me what's going on. They're yeah, putting a rope around our neck. Mm -hmm. Is there just the two of you? No, there are a few of us. Uh, so there's many of you? Mm -hmm. And tell me, are you actual witches there? We are healers. We are You're healers. healers. And they fear you? They want our land. I see. They want your land. And tell me, are they white or are they Indian? They're white. Mm -hmm. And as you're there now by this tree, as I sort out that rope there, is it a male or a female that's putting that rope around your neck? It's a male. It's a male. Mm -hmm. And I want you to freeze that scene now. And I want you to put that scene in black and white. And now I want you to look straight into the eyes of that male. Because you will connect with that person, that soul. Is he in your life today or has he been? He has been. Who is he? My ex. Oh. So, he killed you in that life, and in this life, you got away. Very good. And is that what you wanted to show me from this scene? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now that you've come to your, the end of your life there, And what I want you to do is I want you to just lift your soul out of that body now. So that you're about three or four foot above the body. and You could see the whole scene. And describe to me, these men that persecuted you, how many were there? There were about five. About five. Mm -hmm. And your sister, is she also now dead? She is also now dead. Uh-huh. So as you look at now at the body of Anne there, knowing that you have now released yourself, you've released your soul from that body, what did the soul contract come down to work on in that life? It came to bring healing, it came to bring love. Mm -hmm. And tell me, did she fulfil her contract? In she that. did. She did fill her contract, so she feels happy. Yeah. Very good. And now what I want you to do is, because it's normal at this time that someone or something comes to collect you, to take you back home. So what I want you to do now is, I want you to look around. And as I talk, you'll notice the feeling of, an energy getting closer and closer towards you. It might be a, a person from that previous life, or a colour, or an angel, or a symbol. Just feel their presence getting closer and closer and closer to you now. Tell me, who has come to collect you to take you back to spirit? Spirit. Did you say it's bright? It's a sprite. It's a sprite. We what is it? fairies. We call them sprites. Oh, they're fairies. Oh, 
These fairies, describe them to me. Are they tall? Are they small? Are they big? They can be either or. Mm -hmm. They prefer to be small than seeing. Uh -huh. And what do these fairies mean to you? Why have they come to collect you? Do you go back to their land? No. We go on to another life. You go on to another life. Well, now these fairies are with you and you are a soul and you're able to telepathically communicate mind to mind with these fairies, what message do they give you after that life has ended? You did well. You did well. Mm -hmm. So what I want you to do now is I want you to go with these fairies and I want to join you now as you go on your travels as they take you to the next place that you go after you've completed a life and just allow them now to go drifting and floating with you as you go higher and higher up higher and higher releasing the memories of that past memory and in a moment I want to count from three to one and when I get to one you're going to be at the place you go straight after a life so you can describe it to me. So when you're ready, three, two, and one, be there now. Describe this place to me. Where is it? It's an odd place. It's an odd place. Is it dark? Is it bright? Is it inside or out? It okay. feels as if it's inside. It's inside. Mm -hmm. And as you're looking inside and you're connecting now more and more with that story and the pictures are becoming brighter and clearer, as you look inside this place, what are the walls like? Are they, is it a cave? Are they bricks? Is it wood? Describe it to me. What a door. What a door. Mm -hmm. and as you're there now I want you to connect with your senses your all knowing and as you connect with your senses you don't have to see you can just sense tell me do you feel alone in that place or are there others with you I feel alone. you feel alone what is it that you're doing in there now as this soul inside this place. What are you there for? Not terribly sure. Mm -hmm. Well have a look around this room then and describe the rest of it to me. Do you need chairs and tables or do you float? I need chairs and tables. Uh-huh. Yeah. And is there anything else in the room? A fire. A fire. And I want you to follow that scene of you being in that room to when you either move from that room or someone comes in that room. And you just go forward now to that time. And tell me, do you leave that room or does someone come in it? Someone comes in. Who is it? Is it male or female? It's a little girl. A little girl? What's her name? Molly. Mm -hmm. Ask Molly, what does she represent for you in this place? She's a servant. She's a servant. Uh huh. So, are you there resting then? I seem to be doing needlework. Needlework. Uh huh. So, are you male or female? I'm female. You're female. Mm -hmm. How old are you there? About twenty. You're about twenty. What's your name? Just hear your name. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. So Elizabeth, I want you to connect with your emotions mm -hmm. and tell me, how do you feel about being in that life there? I don't like it. You don't like it? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Do you see other people there in that life? Or do you work alone? No, I live with a family. 
a family. Mm -hmm. Describe this family to me. Are they your family? They're my family, but they're very appearing. Are they? They wish me to marry someone I do not love. They want you to marry? Mm -hmm. But you don't love? So how do you feel about that then, Elizabeth? I'm not very happy at all. Mm -hmm. Well, I want you to fast forward that scene there, Mary, and tell me. This person that they want you to marry, what's his name? Arthur. Arthur. Uh -huh. Why do they want you to marry Arthur? Because it will bring wealth. It will bring wealth. Mm -hmm. So what country are you in there? Just see the globe and you'll be able to see the country that you live in. England. You're in England. Mm -hmm. Well, in a moment, I want to tuck you on the forehead. I want to tuck you on the forehead. You're going to tell me what year it is in England. Three, two, and one. What year is it? 1800s. 1800s. Mm -hmm. So what part of England are you in? Are you in the north, south, east, or west? Sussex. You're in Sussex. Mm -hmm. So this Arthur, then. Describe Arthur to me. He's fat. He's old. Mm -hmm. He's fat and old. So what does he do for a trade for your parents to want you to marry into wealth? He's a merchant. He's a merchant. Mm -hmm. So this Arthur then. I want you to connect with Arthur and his spirit and I want you to look into those eyes right down to the soul of Arthur and tell me, has he been in your life today? No. No. Mm -hmm. So let's fast forward this scene now as Elizabeth and tell me, did you marry Arthur? I had to. You had to. Mm -hmm. So are you still working and sewing or are you doing something else? I think I'm getting near the end now. Getting near the end of what? That life? Yeah. So how old were you at the end of that life? About 30. About 30. So you didn't really live very old, long in that life. So I want you to connect with your body so you can consciously communicate with your body and tell me what happened? I died in childbirth. Childbirth, uh-huh. Childbirth. Mm -hmm. And that soul that, that you were bringing to the earth, did it survive or did the baby die too? The baby died too. Uh, the baby died? Mm -hmm. And was that baby a female or a male soul? Female. It's a female soul. Now I really want you to connect now. I really want you to connect with Elizabeth because Elizabeth knows all her stories, all their memories. And she knows the history of how things are connected. And that soul that you were carrying, is that soul in this life today? Yes. Who is it? Sarah. It's Sarah. Mm -hmm. So you're working again today. So now that you're at the end of that life, I want you to step out of that body as a soul that you are and describe to me, did, why did you contract to do that life? It is just a life in a long row of lives to get to this point. Oh right, so you kind of earn your credits as you go along? No, it is that I came down to this earth, this planet, to help and to go through that and to learn to be human. One has to go through many lives. Mm -hmm. I see. I'm still that soul that came from Palladian. You're still the soul from Palladian. You just have to go through many lives to learn to understand, so you yeah. can understand emotion. Tell me, this planet that we're on, it's an emotional planet. Is the planet that you're on when you're a Palladian an emotional planet? Not to the degree it is here. Uh-huh. Is that why 
other beings come down to work on this planet. It is indeed. Mm -hmm. So now that you've come to the end of that life, I want you to take me to the place where you go after a life. And just describe to me what's happening to you now as you travel from that life. Describe to me, do you travel back home or do you go somewhere else? I get caught in the soul trap. You get caught in the soul trap? Describe this soul trap for me. It is a trap where when you die, your soul goes and it is immediately reincarnated and put into another life. Mm -hmm. It is something that the reptilians set up long ago. And it is to trap your souls upon earth. This is one of the reasons we have come. But we have to go through that soul trap to do the lives we have to do to get to the point. So the reptilians there. set up that soul trap so that you can't actually go back up? Not until all the work is done here. Uh huh. So why do the reptilians constantly want you to go back to earth when they're the ones... Because they feed upon your luge. I see. Uh-huh. And so, do you get stronger and stronger for every life that you have then? We do. How do you release yourself from getting stuck in the soul trap? We cannot. Not until the earth sends. Mm -hmm. We have dismantled the trap now. It has been dismantled. Very good. Uh -huh. And so the reptilians don't have the hold that they had on Earth as they, they did do not be... anymore. Anymore. Mm -hmm. The souls will not be trapped from this day forward. Mm -hmm. So tell me why, why come down to Earth? What is actually happen happening with Earth? Have we gone off kilter or are we moving forward? What's... We are moving forward. Unfortunately, the Earth was taken over by the reptilians many decades ago. And they came to feed upon your planet and your humans, both physically and mentally. Mm -hmm. They wanted you as a slave species, and we have come to break that. We have those of us that are still in the galaxies, fighting the war which is now over. And there are those of us upon the Earth that have come to raise the vibrations. Mm -hmm. You call us star seeds. Star seeds. How wonderful. And some people do tell me that many of the um, reptilians are actually in government and places like that. Is that true? That is true. Mm -hmm. So how do, we, how do we break the cycle? The cycle has been broken. Many of your governments are merely actors now, playing out of part. Mm -hmm. You are at the end. We're coming to the end. And when we come to the end where we can actually see the light a little bit better, what's going to happen for us on Earth? You are going to jump to the 4th D and then the 5th D. You will not be in the 4th D for very long. And you will soon jump to the 5th D and the 5th D. Reptilians cannot come to Earth because it is of a higher density. Theirs is a lower density. I see. They are from Saturn. Saturn is a bad planet. The reptilians are from Saturn. Mm -hmm. You can see the symbology all over the place when you look. What's this symbology that you're talking about? Is that for the reptilians or for you? No, that is for them. But they have to tell you because if they do not tell you then they feel that karma will get them. They do not realise that karma will get them anyway. Mm -hmm. When you say they have to tell me, does, do you mean that they have to tell me about these symbols? No, they have to tell you what they are planning to do and what they were planning to do. They tell you in films, they tell you in songs. They have taken over Hollywood. They are. They were absolutely everywhere. If you look, you can see the symbology of Satan, Lucifer, all over the place, of the Freemasons, of the Satanic Square. You can see it everywhere. So what was it that they were planning to do? They were planning to make it into a planet habitable for them because they live underground. I see. Mm -hmm. Talking of underground... Do we have souls or beings that live in our underground here on Earth? Unfortunately, you did. Mm -hmm. These souls or beings that are in our Earth, in our caves and down below, are they to our benefit? They were not to your benefit. 
They are being eradicated even now as we speak. They're being eradicated. What kind of what kind of beings are they? They were reptilian. Uh huh. So why have they gone underground? They cannot stand the surface. I see. They take over hosts. It is very complicated for you to understand. Uh huh. So sometimes do they walk into a body, like walk-ins, to take over? They do indeed. Mm hmm. And is this why some people get drained or feel anxious or feel that they're not actually themselves? They do indeed. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the stronger the healing energy that we have on this earth, the weaker the reptilians become? Yeah, we mm. have got rid of the reptilians. It is just the demons that are left now. The uh -huh. demons are being dealt with all the time. Describe these demons to me then. Do, are they just energy or are they a figure? What do they look no, like? They are energy. They're they energy. Are evil energy. Mm -hmm. They also are from Saturn, from Satan. And this energy, you tell me that it's actually in Gaia, in Mother Earth, hiding there? It has tried for many years to hide, but we saw them. Mm -hmm. So, what is it that we can do as a group, as a collective? You can raise your vibrations and become awake what is happening around you. You can see the wrongs that have been caused. So we need to raise our vibrations and become more moral? You do indeed. Mm -hmm. And you become more loving. You need to put aside racism and all hatred of any kind. Thank you very much for that information. Gaia is a sentient being. Gaia is a sentient being? Yeah. She called to us from afar. Mm -hmm. And what did she ask for? She asked for help. Mm -hmm. And is that why you came down? That's why we came. Tell me, can Gaia connect and communicate with other planets? Indeed she can. Mm -hmm. How does she do this? She is a sentient being. She can do it in any way that sentient beings can. Mm -hmm. So while are there telecommunication grids that we're not aware of. There are indeed. Mm -hmm. Very good. So what I want to do now is I want to thank you for that information there but I want to close that scene because now what I want to do is I want to connect with your inner self, your subconscious mind and as we connect with your in, inner self and your subconscious mind. I want you just to take a nice deep breath and step away from your body so that I can connect with your inner self that can take over your voice for now. Very good. So as I now connect with the inner self and I'm talking to your inner self, what I want to know is your inner self, does it have a female energy or a male energy or is it a different female energy? Inner self, it's a female energy. Mm -hmm. And does your female energy have a name? What can I call this female energy today? Sathura. Sathura. Mm-hmm. So, so Thora, now that you're here and you're talking to me, how many lives have you had with my client? Ever since the days of uh, Atlantis. The days of Atlantis? So she was with, in Atlantis? Mm -hmm. All the starseeds came very early on. Mm -hmm. And what is it that you're working with, with her? Why are you with her? To bring the light. So you're bringing the light. Mm -hmm. So where do you come from yourself, Sathura? Do you come from a different planet? Or were you sent? I am ancient. You're ancient? Mm -hmm. So Sathura, what I want to do today is I want to do um, a body scan with you and as you know her so well, we're going to start at the top of the head, so we're just going to scan the body and we're going to scan for the differences in vibration. So we're just looking for any old energy that doesn't serve her anymore. 
or anything that we can release today. Any old memories, any attachments. So let's start at the top of the head now. Starting at the top of the head. She gets a lot of headaches. Yeah. And I want you to go into the right ear and very, very, very slowly scan the right ear down into the neck. That's right. And come across the face, down the jaw. Into that throat area, very slowly scan. And feeling the changes in the vibrational energy. She has problems. Uh, and I'll go across the shoulders now. We're just scanning like an x-ray. All the way down the torso. She has problems with her heart. Mm -hmm. It races at times. Yeah. Well, just I want you to very slowly scan the heart. And you'll know that you'll be able to pick all that information up in a minute as we go further down. And I just want you to be there at the top of the tummy now. Slowly scan down and I want you to go round to the left hip and to the right hip. And all around that womb area. It still hurts and that she wants to womb. Mm -hmm. Well now follow those hips down the thighs. She has problems with her. She has tear, she has problems with her knees, she has problems with her feet. Knees, feet. Mm -hmm. Okay, all the way down to the bottom. All the way to the tips of the toes and then I'll just want you to scan very slowly all the way back up to the top. So Sutura, starting with the first one, where are we going to work first in the body? Stomach. The stomach. Mm -hmm. So Sutura, what I want you to do is I want you to go as small as a cell now. And I want you to just imagine that you're travelling down into that stomach area. And as you travel down into that stomach area and you're connecting with the energy there, tell me what is the emotion there? I thought I'm not saying that life. Upset. Is that from this life or previous lives? This is from this life. This life? Mm -hmm. And as it stays there in the stomach, what kind of symptoms does it cause her? It causes her a lot of pain and bloating. Mm -hmm. So it's not really doing her any good, is it? No. Mm -hmm. So, Sathura, what I want you to do now is, I want you to work with me, Sathura, so that we can draw out those memories. Do I have permission to work with you? Do you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I must tell you that she needs the toilet terribly. Well, what we're going to do now is, we're, we're going we're gonna to come back to that scene. We're going to open your eyes now. You're going to be able to go to the toilet. And when we get back, you're going to go straight into that scene. So when you're ready, you okay? Mm -hmm. So if you can just make your way to the toilet, and what I'll do is, we'll start again in a minute. So you're telling me that your inner self is... Zaluthia. Zaluthia. She's ancient. And she's ancient. Very good. Well, Zaluthia took me towards the tummy area. Do I have permission to work with Zaluthia today? Indeed. Okay, so now I'm going to connect with this area. So Luther, go into this area now. Can you tell me that there's an awful lot of pain from this life that she's holding? Mm -hmm. So Luther, go in there and start unravelling all those cords that are tied. There, just see yourself now unravelling all those cords. And my hand is like a magnet. 
and the more I talk, the stronger and stronger the power in my hand becomes. That all these memories that don't serve her anymore will just come floating up into my hand. So, Sir Luther, keep going in there now. Mm -hmm. Pulling up those weeds as if you're pulling the weeds out of the garden. Very good. And just draw them into my hand. Wow. Tell me, have I got all those memories now that don't, she doesn't need anymore? Just a few more coming. Just a few more coming. And the more I talk, the weaker and weaker those memories become. They just want to go home now. Just go and collect all that luggage and we can take it back up to source to be healed. Have I got all that energy now? Yeah, I have all that energy. Thank you. So I'm going to... Offer that up to the universe and may the light of the universe always accompany it. So uh, now that we're working on the stomach area, tell me what kind of thing can we put into the stomach area to heal? If you could have a word, what would it be? Love. Love. Mm -hmm. And if love was a colour, what colour would that love be? A beautiful pink. So as I place my hand here now, I call on Goddess Isis, the spiritual mother of love, to come down and work with me now. And I want her to bring that wonderful pink ray, that spiritual, beautiful spiritual pink ray of love down with her. Almost like a rainbow, like a hose. Just see all that colour pouring into this stomach area. And see how she works to soften this area. And the more I talk, the more this stomach area fills with love from the spirit realm. And the more you need, the more you shall have. She just keeps pouring it in and pouring it in until you're completely full. And I'm going to tap you on the forehead and seal that in and thank her for working with us. So, Sir Luthia, as you're looking at the body now, you told me that there's a few other areas that we could work with. Go to the next one that you want me to work on. The head. The head. Is it the front, the back, the top or the bottom? It's all over. It's all over? Mm -hmm. Very good. So what I want to do is come towards you now. So I want to connect with this head. So Luther, I want you to make your way there now. And describe to me what's happening inside. Is it light? Is it dark? Is it bright? Feel it. It's a bit grey. It's a bit grey. Mm -hmm. Well, keep going around that grey. And you're going to be able to communicate with that grey energy. And tell me, this grey energy, are they past life memories or are they memories from this life? They are both. They are both? Mm -hmm. Well, choose a past life memory that is here inside the head connected. And I want you to travel down the line to that life. And tell me, why does she hold that life in the memory there? It was a very hard, disturbing life. A hard, disturbing life? Was she male or female? She was female. She was female. And what happened to her? She was raped. She was raped. Mm -hmm. And I'll have that energy go no further than my elbow. Thank you. What was her name in that life? Rosalind. Rosalind. Do I have permission to speak with Rosalind today? I do. Thank you very much. In a moment I'm going to tap you on the forehead. And when I tap you on the forehead, I want to speak to Rosalind. Three, two, one. Good afternoon, Rosalind. Good afternoon. Rosalind, tell me why do you hold this memory in her, in her life? I don't you... mean to. You don't mean to? Mm -hmm. So, why didn't you go to spirit when you had the chance, Rosalind? I tried. You tried? What happened? It was a trap. 
It was a trap. Who trapped you, Rosalind? It just felt like a trap. It felt, oh, your life felt like a trap? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It felt right. Everything was wrong. Everything was wrong. Mm -hmm. So what was your contract in that life? What would, did you aim to do in that life? Bring healing. Bring healing. Mm -hmm. But you got trapped. I did. Mm -hmm. So, do you know your way to the spirit realm or would you like me to help you? No, I've been there. You've been there. So why are you insisting that you come back and sit in this body? I was brought back. You was brought back? Mm -hmm. Who brought you back? A man. A man? Describe that man to me. He took her into a room and there I was and he brought me out and he never brought me back. I see. So it wasn't your intention to stay with her? Not at all. Not at all. Tell me, Rosalind, what symptoms do you cause my client while you're here? She gets very sore. She gets cystitis. She just gets very sore. Are those the conditions that you had in that life? I was sorely used. You were sorely used. So you were vulnerable and abused? I was a prostitute. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe that's the only life you knew in that life. It was forced upon me. Mm -hmm. So tell me, when you leave, we'd like you to go collect all this pain and this energy that's been working on her body. Are you able to do that today? I can, yes. You can? So what I want to do is I want to connect now with the head and I'm going to ask Archangel Michael to come down and work with us today and as he's working with us I'd like him to place his sword of light at the top of your head and just feel that blue sword of light energy now searing down your body to illuminate your soul. Rosalind, what I want you to do is I want you to go inside this body now and tell me where is it that you're holding your memories? Down below. Down below. Rosalind, go down there and collect those because if you're going home, we want to take all your luggage with you, don't we? We do. Mm -hmm. So go down there now and start collecting all that energy. Just see yourself sucking it up like a hose, like a vacuum cleaner. Going round, sucking it all up. You know it doesn't belong down there. Mm -hmm. And I want you to go down to every root, every fibre, every fractal. And as Archangel Michael works with me now, I want him to turn the amp up on his sword so that your body gets brighter and brighter. So you can see the tiniest fragments, Rosalind. So go around and describe to me what you're doing now, Rosalind. Taking it all. Taking it all. Wow. Mm. Is there a lot of betrayal in there? Not much betrayal in yeah. there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So tell me, have you got all the energy? That you all the energy yeah. So what I want you to do is I want you to... Well, I want you to bring it up to the top of the head and I want it into my hands now to there. Have I got everything now? You have everything. Uh -huh. So I'm going to take that off you. And that's the light of the universe to heal and restore. So, Rosalind, now that you have separated yourself from this body and you've taken all the fragments of your hurt with you, what can we place in this body for my client that will really help her? Love. Love. Mm -hmm. So I call on Archangel Raphael now to come down with the colour green and I want him to pull in all that beautiful green energy just like a liquid energy coming down from the top of her head and you can feel it going down all the way down her body all the way down into this tummy area and just feel it soaking in laying those new foundations for new beginnings restoring and healing all those cells that can now 
recalibrate themselves into healthy cells, stronger cells that can fight infection and pain. And I'm going to tap you on the head and seal that in. So tell me, um, Zuthura, where else can we work in the body today? The heart. The heart. Mm -hmm. So as I connect with the heart, as I connect with the heart area, I want you to go into the heart area and describe to me just what's going on. So what's happening there? There was a lot of heartbreak. Heartbreak and hurt. This heartbreak and hurt, is it from this life or previous lives? It's from this life. It's from this life. Mm -hmm. So what I want to do in order to heal, I want you to take me back to the very time this all began. All the way you travel down and down and down to the root cause of when this all began. Just see yourself going back in time, getting younger and younger and younger. Until you can tell me, how old were you when it all began? Three. You were three? Mm -hmm. What happened when you were three years old? Just see that scene. I broke the tea table and I had a fit. Uh huh. So, why did this fit come about? There was a rush of hormones into her body, mm -hmm. but I couldn't cope with it. This rush of hormones, mm -hmm. tell me, were they sent or did it just, uh, no, did, was her body normal? quite normal for three-year-olds to get a rush of hormonal energy. It's quite normal for who? For children to get a rush of Mm -hmm. Hormones at certain ages, she got hers at three. She got hers at three but couldn't manage it quite well. Mm -hmm. No, triggered off the epilepsy. Triggered off the epilepsy, yeah. And what happened there? How did she feel when that happened? It was more the people around her. She wasn't really aware that anything happened to her, but it was the people around her. Mm -hmm. The panic around her and... Uh, the gods and the, uh, and the hospitals and, the, and you being a naughty girl. And so you were blamed? I was blamed. Mm -hmm. My mother blamed me. Mm -hmm. I want to say don't tell anybody that you've got that relapsator because then everybody will look at me oddly because you are the way you are. So and she used to say things like, she used to look at the child and say, you know, everybody treats me the way they do because of your epilepsy. And so she had brought it on herself to do harm. She had not. So she didn't fully understand? I didn't understand at all. Mm -hmm. So what was the purpose of you contracting to work with that mother then in this life? Why did you choose to go through that as a child? Tolerance. So you were learning tolerance. Mm -hmm. It sounds like you've done a very good job of learning tolerance to me. Mm -hmm. So all these memories that she has of this and other situations that are in her heart, are we able to remove them today so that she's got more space to be, bring love? Yep. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to connect now. I'm going to connect with this heart area and I'm going to call on Archangel Gabriel to come down and work with me and as he works with me now. So Thora, what I want you to do is I want you to go into this heart area and start collecting all those childhood memories and any memories where she's filled 
hurt in Jude or Burnham. And just start collecting them, pulling the roots out, like pulling the weeds out of the garden. Just feel yourself now. Just see the loops. Sathora working there, pulling them all out. And I wanted to place them in my hand. Mm -hmm. And I'm calling Archangel Gabriel now, the angel, the messengers of love, to come down, to prepare, to take all these messages of hurt back to spirit so that they can be healed. Because it wasn't you as a child, it was your mother that couldn't cope, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And do you forgive your mother for that? I do, I have. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So put that in the basket now, so that we can take that back with us. Mm. And are we ready now to pass this to Archangel Gabriel? Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take that energy from you and allow Archangel Gabriel to take that up to spirit to be healed and may the light of the universe always accompany you. So as I connect now, I'll turn you. I'd like the descended master Elmora to come down now and work. And I want them to work on that beautiful magenta colour, that deepest red and love and passion. And feel how he's pouring in all that wonderful spirit energy of love and passion and confidence healing this heart area. Sealing all those root ends now so nothing of any negativity can grow in this area. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to ask him to put some into the right side here. Just feel that energy soaking into the right side of your head there. Very good. And into your ear. What's going on with the ear? So the ear. Mm -hmm. She had a fall. Oh. And all the granules in her ear balance themselves. So she had a fall and all the granules aren't balanced? They're not, a lot more balanced and healthy than they ever mm -hmm. were before. So if they were going there now and start recalibrating that area, just see yourself now, little building blocks now, moving and shaping and building and repairing. See yourself now, distributing those shells those cells so that they're in alignment. How does it look now? It's better. It's much better, thank you. I'm going to tap you on the shoulder and seal that in. As we look down <coughs> further, you mentioned that um, your knees, there was something going on with your knees. So Zathura, go down into the knees and tell me what's happening in the knee area. Just a lot of pain in it. Uh huh. They swell. They swell. Mm hmm. So as we connect, as so we go into these knees, and I want you to communicate with all the cells in her body, and you can do this telepathically. And tell me why is there all this swollenness in her knees? Talk to this memory. What's happening? She was on her knees a lot. She was on her knees a lot, physically, emotionally. Physically. Physically. So basically, she's brought that ailment to her. Mm. Uh huh. Does she need to be on her knees anymore now that she's learnt this lesson? No. No. Mm -hmm. Wow. Does this sometimes prevent her from breathing properly? Yes, because it hurts. Yeah, I can feel it. I can feel it. Okay, so Thura, go into this, go into this area now. <clears throat> I want you to communicate with all the cells that are in here that have been chattering away, talking about these times in her life when she's been on her knees. I want them to communicate with all the other cells that know about this and ask them all to gather together. And I want you to see them all gathering together until they're in a group in a group now. Mm -hmm. So Thura, what I want you to do, I want you to tell these cells 
that they have been found to be healed today and it is now time to go and ask them to put themselves into my hands, my healing hands now. Just invite her to help all those cells. Oh, does this give you tightness in breath? Sometimes it does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Zathura, while all this energy in her knees is going towards my hands, I want you to go towards the chest area and start drawing out all those cells that are tightening their chest and bring them into my hand. So as I connect now with my hands on the knees and the heart, I'm calling on all that energy now to come out. It's ready, it's time for you to be healed. Have I got all that memory now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going to offer that up to the universe. And as I connect back with these knees, I like the colour of citrine, that beautiful crystal citrine colour to come down and work with me. This colour of abundance and love and confidence. And see this Christine colour actually coming from that Palladian planet of yours. From all your elders now sharing their love and their gift we are pouring in this beautiful crystalline, crystalline colour now into your body, repairing you and totally, totally activating your body and recalibrating it. And see them, it's just like a car and an MOT, we're just working and recalibrating. And see how they've actually healed your body so that you can carry on with your work. Well, I'd like to tap in the forehead and seal that in. Can't breathe. <coughs> um, take another look down the body and tell me is there anything else we can work on today or do we get to the questions? It's just a feet really. A feet? Uh huh. So Zathora go down to the feet. <coughs> and as I connect with the feet. Zathora tell me what's happening in the feet. They're quite painful. They're painful. When did this pain start, Zathora? Started um, after a fall. After a fall. Mm -hmm. So, this fall, describe this fall to me. What happened? She was tripped. She was tripped. Who tripped her? A dark energy. A dark energy? Mm -hmm. So, was this on purpose? It was indeed. Uh huh. Do we have permission to speak to that dark energy today? No, they just tripped her and went. They just tripped her and went. Mm -hmm. So what is the memory that she's holding in her feet? She had to do an awful lot of running once. She had to do an awful lot of running once? What, in a different life? No, in this life. In this life. So they tripped her up so she couldn't do the running round? No, it was a long, long while ago. She was nearly raped and she ran and she ran and she ran. I see. And she ran. And the dark energy tripped her up. The dark energy tripped her up a few months ago. Uh huh. So describe the time when the dark energy tripped her up. What was happening in her life then? She just got it together. She just got it together. So this dark energy is actually there to prevent you from enjoying your life. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask and demand that I speak to that dark energy. And I want that dark energy to come forward. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Hello, dark energy. Tell me, who sent you to trip her up all the time? Satan. Satan. Mm -hmm. So, do you do this to just her or do you do it to several people? Any light worker. Any light worker. So, it's your job, really, working for Satan, that you dampen anybody's light. Mm -hmm. Their light is, is, is hurting us. Their light is hurting you? Well, did you know that you didn't have to work with Satan all the time? Did you know that you can actually go to the light yourself? No. Did you not know that? No. Mm -hmm. And did you know that when you haven't got permission to actually be in anybody's energy, that you're breaking one of the spiritual laws? 
Did she invite you to come in or did you just move in? Just moved in. Just moved in. So you haven't got permission to be here then, have you? No. Nope. No. Well, in a moment I'm going to be able to talk to my client, so I'm going to tap her on the head and allow her to come forward. Three, two, one. What do you want to say to this dark energy that's in your body? I will go to the source if I were you and get out. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. I'll tap you on the forehead and I want to talk to the dark energy. Dark energy, did you know that you don't have to work for Satan? Would you like to go to the light? I would like to go to the light. I don't mm. like being dark. Uh-huh. So, why don't you just connect now and hop onto my hand? Just gather all your dark energy. Mm-hmm. And pick it up and just place it onto my hand. Are you there? Yeah. Are you there? Very good. Just go in there and double check again. I just want the light source energy just to light up these feet. Go in there and double check that you've got everything. I uh have. -huh. Yeah, very good. I like Archangel Zadkil to come down now and work with me. And I'm going to ask him to take you from her feet and to take you back up to spirit, to source, where you can be healed. And may the light always accompany you. Oh, that was a heavy one. Tell me, do we get to the questions now or is there anything else? I think you've cracked it. You think I've cracked it? Very good. So what I want to ask now, I want to ask... Zalutha. I want to ask Zalutha a couple of questions and I really want to ask, we know what happened when she was three years old, we've sorted that out. I want to ask about her guides, so as I continue to talk about her guides, I want you to go on that silver thread now of her guides and totally connect with them and tell me how many guides does she have? Five. She has five. Describe them to me, what do they look like? Two are Egyptian, one is male, one is female. Egyptian. We have one Palladian. Male, female. Female. And a Palladian. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have a Sprite. A Sprite. And a Native American. And a Native American. Mm -hmm. And tell me why are these, as a collective, working with her today? She's on the last leg. She's on the last leg. A oh, very long journey. Mm -hmm. So she's quite a warrior then. She is a warrior. Yeah. As a collective, if they could give her a message today, telepathically communicate that message to me now and tell me what is it that they want to tell her. Enjoy this life. It is the last. You will be back soon. Right. Enjoy this life. It's the last. And you'll be back soon. Thank you very much. When you say soon, I know that you don't actually do time in the way we do time. We do not. Mm -hmm. Do you mean is she going to live a full life on it? She's going to live a very full life. Very full life, thank you. And this stroke that she had, which is causing her not to have any patience, why did that occur? That was a combination of um, children of... Ah. So her emotional yeah. feelings became physical? It became physical. Mm -hmm. So now that we've been working on the body, just look in that body and tell me, what's it looking like now? It's looking a lot, lot better. A lot, lot better. So as we're calling on Grandma now, do we have permission to speak to Grandma? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to tap you on the forehead, and when I tap you on the forehead, I want to speak to your Grandma, three, two, one. Grandma, come forward and tell me why she got this weight issue or why does she believe she has? <clears throat> What's going on? She loved her granddad very, very much. She loved her granddad? Uh huh. Not you? She loved me, but not like her granddad. Mm -hmm. So, what's the, what's the connection with the weight then? She was afraid of me, I think. She was afraid of you? Mm hmm. So how does that connect with weight? I was quite a tubby woman myself. Mm -hmm. Her granddad was quite a tubby man. And 
do you put that feeling onto her sometimes that she feels to be too? Mm -hmm. Tell me, <clears throat> is this her problem or is it your problem? I think it's a bit of both. Mm -hmm. Where does she hold that memory of that problem? Just scan her body and tell me, where does she hold that memory where you connect with her? With the love of her granddad and the love of her grandma, where does she hold it? In her stomach. In her stomach. I'm going to connect there now. Grandma, go in there now and start collecting all that memory because she doesn't really need that memory in there, does she? No. She only needs your love. Mm -hmm. So go in there and start collecting those memories and tell me when they're in my hands. They're in your hand. They're in my hand. So I'm going to offer them up to spirit. Grandma, what I want you to do now. You know all that love and that devotion, that pure love that you had for her? Mm -hmm. I want you to start pouring it into this stomach area. And then I want you to double it in size. And see it getting brighter and brighter and stronger and stronger and thicker and thicker. Until she's completely immersed in the love from her granddad and her grandma. So how is her stomach looking now? much better. I'm going to tuck you on the forehead and seal that in. Thank you very much. Tell me all these all these toys that she has around her house, what's that related to? Childhood. Mm -hmm. Her mother stole her childhood. Her mother stole her childhood. Mm -hmm. I want you to connect spiritually now. She also, one of her jobs is to release children safer that have died and got stuck. So she needs to release children that have died and got stuck? No, that's what she does. That's what she does. So they end up being an attachment on somebody else's energy? No, no, they get released back. They get released back. Mm -hmm. It was part of the contract. It's a lady. I see. So she's learning an awful lot of lessons in order to be compassionate in this world. She was already compassionate. Mm -hmm. But does she need to hold on to those memories that hurt her? Can she not just do her job now? Now that we've cleared all her chakras. Yes, we can. We can. Thank you very much. Is there anything else that I should have asked or ought to have asked before we go? Or no. We, or we're complete today? Well, thank you very much for working with me. And I want to thank all those in spirit for working with me today. And may the light of the universe always accompany them. But now, what I want you to do now is, Sathura, I want you to step back now and just allow her to come back to her body. Very good.